Hello and welcome back to the Fat Boy Loss channel. My name is Aaron and we just hit over 100,000 subscribers on this channel, which is just absolutely crazy. That blows me away so much. So thank you, you so much for allowing me to be in front of this camera and provide you a whole bunch of really helpful information. So I want this video today to be super, super helpful. And it's all about the protein and green diet. So if you haven't heard about the protein and green diet, it's something that I've been talking a little bit about recently, um, but it's something that I haven't really documented or haven't really given anyone an overview of. So this video right here today is to give you an overview of the protein and green diet and how it can actually help you break through either at a weight loss plateau or whether you know you want to change up the ketogenic diet a little bit uh, this is going to focus a little bit more on proteins as opposed to focusing so heavily on fat uh, the protein and green site is basically uh, a very simple way to actually tap into the body fat you already have and maintain your lean muscle mass in order to maintain your level of metabolism. So it's really important to maintain your metabolism whilst you're going through something like this. By eating sufficient protein and the fat that comes along with that protein, as well as a few extra greens for some added nutrients, you'll be able to break through those plateaus and start losing body fat again. But the only way we can do that is first of all, you need to figure out what body fat percentage you are in order to continue with the calculation. So on the screen, I have some body fat percentages for women and some body fat percentages for men. And these images will help you find an approximate value or if you have a bod pod or DEXA scan done, use that value instead. For reference, this is me three weeks ago at 22% body fat. So the calculations are your total body weight minus your body fat percentage. So let's take an example, Sally. She's 170 pounds and we need to minus her body fat, which is 35% body fat from the total, which gives us 110 0.5. That's just one example. Our next example, Bob, is 190 pounds and he is 25% body fat. So we minus that from the total body weight to give us 142.5. So those two numbers are our lean body mass for Sally and Bob, and that's how many grams of protein they're going to eat to sustain their lean body mass. So if you use the metric system, like Aussie Bill, and you weigh 96 kilos, if you're 25% body fat, you minus that from the total, but you times it by two to give you 129 grams of protein to maintain your lean body mass. There is one more guideline that will help you improve your insulin sensitivity so that you can access your stored body fat, and that is intermittent fasting. I want you to skip one meal per day and fast. The way I usually do this is by skipping breakfast. And trust me, I'm usually a breakfast guy, so this is pretty hard for me. But by doing this, there is less temptation for you to have bad choices that will mess up your routine and start you off on the wrong side of the day. So instead of having breakfast, what I want you to have is either black coffee, so black coffee with no butter, no cream, no sweeteners, just black plain coffee, or if you don't drink coffee, then black plain tea. Either of those two is fine. You can also have water, soda water, or you can even have an electrolyte drink, and the recipe for this one is in the description of this video. Now, remember the grams of protein we spoke about before? Well, this is where that comes in. For two meals per day, this is what you'll be eating. For meat eaters, find fatty cuts of meat and figure out how much protein you need for that meal and serve it up with a side of green vegetables. For example, beef mince has 20 grams of protein, steak has 27, pork has 27, pork belly has 10, lamb chops have 23, bacon has 34, eggs have six grams per egg, and salmon has 28. So vegetarians, it's possible, but it's harder. So cheese has 23 grams, yogurt has nine, chia seeds have 10, edamame have 18.5, and all you do is you just serve that up with a side of green vegetables, and any green vegetables that grow above the ground. So anything green leafy is perfect. So that's it, it's really simple. All you have to do is follow what is in this video and you will begin to start losing body fat again, which is fantastic. But if you do have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below of this video. Or if you want a really deep dive or if you want uh, any of the meal plans that might be associated with this type of eating, then uh, in the first comment of this video, there will be a link and you can jump on in and I'll send you the first week of uh, the protein and green side all mapped out with all the cheat sheets ready for you to go. So let's recap over everything. So it's your total body weight minus your body fat percentage, which gives you your lean body mass, and that equals the amount of grams of protein per day that you should hit. Only two meals a day, so 16, eight, and no 
snacking. So the drinks you can have during your intermittent fast are black tea, black coffee, water, or this electrolyte drink where the recipe is in the description of this video. There's something to keep in mind, make sure the cuts of meat that you are using are the fattier style of cuts uh, because otherwise you'll be cutting your calories too low and it won't actually work. So, if you do love videos like this, or if you love this particular video, make sure you hit subscribe um, to be notified when the next video comes out like this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And again, if you want that first week of this protein and greens diet, then in the first comment, there is a link and that will take you through to where you can actually download it. So again, my name is Aaron. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video.